Using Matthias's gear template generator, I printed out a gear farm and then used that to draw a sawtooth pattern for a ratchet. This is a 12 tooth gear and it will be a 6 tooth ratchet. I wanted to make a fairly large gear using Matthias's gear template generator. I printed this on two sheets, joined them together so I could make a large gear. Now I wanted a gear which had this ratchet mechanism in the center of it. So using a compass, I modified the inside of this gear to look like so. The half inch gear and the quarter inch cover plates are match drilled so that the wood dowels will be in proper alignment. The back cover plate is glued permanently and the front cover plate will be held in place by two screws. The ratchet will now turn in the center and we need a couple of pawls to engage with the teeth on the ratchet. One at the top, one at the bottom. We'll allow this to turn in one direction but not in another. I want this to operate in any position so these will have to be spring loaded. I salvaged a couple of springs from some piece of equipment that I scrapped out. I took these and cut a notch so the spring will fit in there. That one like that. That one like that. And when you put this in, you need three hands. That will engage. That allows the ratchet to turn freely in this direction and then when it engages it'll turn this way. And the holes, small holes in the front and rear cover plates mean that these small shafts are supported on both sides and it's quite strong. So the gear will freewheel in one direction and it will drive the shaft in the other. Being a prototype, I'm not yet sure which direction I want this ratchet to work. Right now this allows the ratchet to freewheel counterclockwise and engage clockwise. I can take this out and turn these parts over and now it will freewheel clockwise and engages counterclockwise. And this will engage in either direction depending on what I need for my project. If a spring is attached to this housing, a small gear can be used to turn the big gear. We'll be winding the spring, the ratchet will be freewheeling, and the ratchet will re-engage, and the spring will be driving this axle.